Kawhi, uh, obviously a new starting lineup tonight, but what did you make of James's play beyond just the four-point play at the end? What did you make of his play and the new lineup? Uh, he played. Uh, he played great. Um, you know, uh, seven assists, uh, three turnovers. That's a great ratio right there. Um, with as much as he uh, has the basketball, uh, yeah. I mean, um, I mean, I said this before about somebody else, but y'all yeah, know how good uh, he is. So. Uh, for you personally, um, getting used to the like the new guys on the team, like James and PJ and the spots that they like to operate in the floor. What has that process been like for you? And does it? do you think that as the process has gone along, not just you, but everyone's gotten more comfortable? Um, I think, yeah, I mean, repetition is great. That's how you learn. Um, um, like I said before, we got to keep playing basketball together and uh, figure out, um, you know, different areas when guys are getting hot or when they're attacking and the different passes they like to make, the, the language. And, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, just keep got to keep playing together and um, just keep uh, keeping our heads high and be confident. Kawhi, uh, take me to that last sequence where out of the timeout, Jabari's guarding you and you you're got the ISO and you make that decision to pass it over to James. Like, what were y'all trying to get out of that play and, and, like, what were you seeing to make that pass? Exactly what you said, man. <laughs> exactly. There's nothing, no magic to it. I had the ball. Uh, um, I seen uh, his guy kind of lagging a little bit. Um, and, you know, I trusted him. Uh, he's uh, one of the top 75 players that this league ever seen. And I gave him the ball and he made the shot. Kawhi, when you have a player of uh, of Russ's caliber uh, being asked to, to come off the bench and provide that kind of bench spark, um, what do you lose from that? And I guess what does that kind of say about the sacrifice that everyone on this team will have to kind of give? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's what it takes. Um, you know, if you – whatever coach needs, um, you know, you got to, you know, kind of suck it up and um, just, you know, go, go with it. You know what I mean? Just see what uh, – see what the opportunity presents uh, for the team. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I've been there before, uh, starting my career and, you know, just um, just every year just uh, trying to, you know, see different ways you can win a basketball game. And uh, I think he's, he's going to be good. Um, you know, it's going to take time uh, for us all to figure it out. But um, I think he did well, came in uh, in the game and hit a, hit a big three for us and uh, got some stops, great defense. So, um, yeah. I don't know if you knew, but this is like that was your personal like longest losing streak that you've been on your career. Is there anything you learned from them like that uh, over the last two weeks? Um, yeah, I mean, it's – it's something that um, you know I learned before. Just just losing games, uh, we just uh, keep being repetitive with our mistakes. As far as boxing out and not doing uh, rotations, uh, turning over the ball. Uh, if we keep doing that consistently, we will lose games. Uh, you know, tonight um, I think we had ten turnovers in the first half or something, and we finished with. 12 so we kind of turned it around in that second half so that was a good thing but uh we still got a lot to work on um uh, you know we got to be able to bury the teams when we go up 10 and not make it a close game coming from behind and uh it's something it's just on the players you know what i mean it, you can only get coached so much uh until you that light switches in your head or it never does and then you see the teams fail so we got to figure out who, who we want to be Kawhi, this was the team's first game this year. Uh, sorry, right, Bernie. First win in like a close game within five points in the final five minutes. Yesterday, Ty was saying that when he has seen the struggles, it's because the defense has broken down in those final minutes. I think you guys ended on a 12-1 run tonight. What was different defensively in the final minutes? Uh, I think we got some steals. Uh, we stopped fouling. Um, deflections. Uh, you know, the last game. Two games or, you know, the games we've been losing, like I said, have been repetitive. Uh, no transition defense um, at the Denver game of five or six at the time. They come down and get a, a lob dunk in, in their home gym. So 
And in other games, we're not boxing out. Guys aren't checking their man, running in, not doing rotations. They get two offensive rebounds. That's four points. So we won this game by six tonight. Just if you, That's how the game is. Your three little mistakes could be nine or six points. All right, last two questions. Hey, uh, Kawhi, just, you know, the, the job that you guys were able to do with Jalen, he shot five for 16, finished with 20 points. Um, you know, w once again, just repeating after him, just the, on the defensive effort, especially with you guys on the wings, to able, you know, being able to make it tough uh, for uh, their wings. Can you talk about that? I mean, uh, he's, he's taking that next step every year. Um, yeah, he's stepping on the floor. He's still learning the game. Uh, He's been aggressive, uh, you know, throughout his career. And, you know, you don't have nights like this uh, where you're not shooting the ball well. Um, I know uh, Lee looks very confident in, you know, stepping into the next game and, you know, taking that next shot, thinking he's going to make it. So, um, you bet with us, you know, we know he's the best player. So you got to throw two, two or three bodies at him to make him miss. And, um, you know, we was fortunate enough tonight for him to go uh, five for 16. Last hey, Kawhi, um, with Russ volunteering to come off the bench, I'm just curious if that's something he discussed with you guys um, before he talks to coach. Um, I mean, he just, uh, we are all trying to figure out ways to win. And um, like I said before, uh, you know, it's it's a notable, noticeable, very noticeable sacrifice that he's making just because he's not starting. Uh, but, um, you know, if he makes that uh Leap like that, uh, it shows uh, us and you know other teammates uh, that are sitting on the bench that we all could sacrifice ourselves. Uh, and you know that's what we must uh, pretty much been doing. Um, nobody's gonna get the same shots. Like I said before, um, you got to do the little detailed things. Uh, if you're not getting them, or if you're not playing, and if you are playing, just boxing out, knowing your rotations, talking. Running hard and playing hard, um, like I said, it's only so much the coaches could do for you. Uh, it's on us to come out here and compete. All right, thank you. Thank you.